Pennsylvania's health secretary was put in the hot seat today about the Commonwealth's reopening plan. 24 counties will move from the red to yellow phase on Friday. Eyewitness News reporter Matt Petrillo has more from Center City. In a virtual hearing, some Pennsylvania senators grilled Dr. Rachel Levine over the state's plan to reopen, some trying to poke holes in that plan. Are we operating on, on less than reliable data? Some are questioning whether the goal has changed to actually stopping the spread. Why can't we look at this county by county? We've all been good soldiers. But the time has come for us to open up. Those are just some of the questions fired at Pennsylvania Health Secretary Dr. Rachel Levine Monday morning. Uh, we need to make sure that we do not see an explosion of new cases. Dr. Levine maintains the state plan to reopen will be rolled out slowly. The plan was announced last month and it shows in order to get up and running, counties would need fewer than 50 cases per 100,000 residents over a 14 day period. If we look at just Philadelphia with a population of 1.58 million people, there would need to be less than 792 cases in two weeks time. It'll be very important for, our, uh, for us to be able to implement more and more testing. But Levine was also grilled about where COVID-19 related deaths are happening most. And the estimate is that in Montgomery County, that as much as 80% of the deaths are in nursing or in long-term care facilities. So I ask you, secretaries, does this skew the data? Or Dr. Levine responded by saying statewide, two thirds of deaths related to COVID-19 are in nursing homes. Long term care living facilities are part of the counties and are included in the rates that we consider in the counties in terms of the number of cases. And Dr. Levine also pointed out counties in our area will likely open much slower than other parts of the state. In Center City, Matt Petrillo, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.